Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry for BRF3 molecule. It's a chemical formula for bromine trifluoride and it consists of one bromine atom and three fluorine atoms. To determine its molecular geometry, we are first going to look at its lowest structure followed by its shape and then we will use AXN notation method to find out its molecular geometry. So this is the lowest structure of BRF3 molecule in which bromine atom is this center forming single bonds with three fluorine atoms. Besides that, it has two lone pairs of electron. So always make sure to consider all these things when you are looking at the lowest structure as the lone pairs, the bonding pairs and the atoms bonding to central atom play a major role when it comes to determine uh, the molecular geometry. So once you know that, we can look at the shape of the BRF3 molecule and here you can see that even though there are two lone pairs of electrons present on this molecule, the shape is like T. So it is a T shaped molecule because of the, these two lone pairs. So the shape is quite clear but to confirm it we are going to use the AXN notation. But to confirm it we are going to use the AXN notation method. So um, for determining the notation for this molecule we are going to first know the formula. So there are three atoms that are bonding to the central atom so it would be AX3 and there are two lone pairs of electron which means it has AX3 into notation. Apart from that we have 5 as a steric number so you can either use a steric number or you can use the AXN notation whatever works for you. Here we are going to use a steric number and we are going to find out the molecular geometry using the SCPR theory. So as it is a static number of 5 because it is forming bonds with 3 fluorine atoms and there are 2 lone pairs of uh, electrons. So in total the static number is 5 and it has 2 lone pairs that means it has a T shaped molecular geometry. You can probably see it over here. Now these bond angles uh, are less than 90 degrees. They are not like exactly 90 degrees but it is somewhere around 86 or 88 degrees but yes the molecular geometry of BRF3 molecule is T shaped and you can probably determine that just by looking at this uh, molecule's shape in 3D. So I hope this video helps you to understand the molecular geometry of BRF3 molecule. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.